Now if my theory proves correct, when this video clip hits 88 seconds, you're going to see some serious action. Hold that mo hold that moment. Ta da! Hello, YouTubers, and today we're gonna take a look at Great Scott, the DeLorean time machine from Back to the Future. Now, before we get right into the review and the retrospective, let's start with the unboxing. So here we've got the artwork of the DeLorean time machine itself and the, the die cast inside the package and the label Back to the Future Time Machine HW Scream Time which Hot Wheels HW is the initials for Hot Wheels 8 slash 10 and a blank Hot Wheels logo on a marker board clip marker board marker movie marker clip I don't know what that is the Hot Wheels logo and the Back to the Future logo and a bit of blue background and on the back we have Back to the Future Time Machine HW Scream Time 8 slash 10 vehicles inspired by popular movies, TV shows, video games and more the Mattel logo empowering the next generation through play 2021 Mattel Made in Malaysia, the Universal logo and the Amblin logo, Universal City Studios LLC and Amblin Entertainment Incorporated, all rights reserved. And that is it. So now without any further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. Now I got this at... Trader's World a few weeks ago. So without any further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. Now I'll be back as soon as this had been unboxed. So here we have the DeLorean time machine all opened up and out of the package. So now without any further ado, let's get right into the retrospective. So this time vehicle was originally a plain DeLorean and it is a 1981 or 1982 DeLorean DMC-12 before being converted into a time machine. In, on October 26th of 1985, a, a scientist by the name of Dr. Emmett Brown converted it into a time machine at the Twin Pines Mall when his friend Marty McFly hmm, arrived on the scene with his video camera, which he had left at home. Which I presume... Uh, I'm not sure what street address that Dr. Brown's home is. Tell me what it is in the comments down below. So anyhow, hmm, Dr. Brown had his dog Einstein loaded in the time vehicle, and, the, and he had 
the DeLorean accelerates at 88 miles per hour, causing it to disappear into thin air and leave a trail of flames into the future. And Einstein had became the world's first time traveler. And, he, and Dr. Brown also, in, also made something that makes all time travel possible, a flux capacitor on the inside. So, and he inserted a keypad November 5th, 1955, which was the day that he invented time travel. And the fuel to power the DeLorean time machine was, is plutonium, which he took from a group of, Lib group of Libyan terrorists who wanted him to build a bomb, so he took their plutonium in order to fuel the time vehicle. Then, at that moment, out of nowhere, a group of Libyan terrorists in a blue Type 2 bus appeared and they shot Dr. Brown and chased Marty in the DeLorean in up to 88, causing him to inadvertently travel to the year 1955. And the problem was he had no extra plutonium. So he, so Marty hid the time view the time machine in order to find where Dr. Brown's 1955 counterpart lives. So they didn't have any plutonium, which was hard to come by in 1955 back then. They decided the only power source capable of generating 1.21 gigawatts of electricity was a bolt of lightning. So so they didn't know where it will strike until, on a flyer, here, that on November 12th, next Saturday, that the lightning bolt will strike a clock tower at 10.04 p.m. So, they wired a cable between the clock tower and the two lampposts. And on Saturday night of November 12th of 1955, Marty accelerated the DeLorean up to 88 miles per hour, right where at the exact same moment when the lightning bolt had struck the clock tower uh, and the cable harnessing the electricity and sending 1.21 gigawatts into the flux capacitor and sending Marty back to the year 1985 and the, the, Lo the Twin Pines Mall was renamed the Lone Pine, the Lone Pine Mall and Dr. Brown who was originally shot by the Libyan terrorists had a bulletproof vest, and then on the next, the, the, by the following morning on October 26th, Dr. Brown came to Marty's house to travel with him back to the future to the to the year 2015 and the day October 21st to save his family's reputation. Dr. Brown went then back for came back for Einstein. Einstein and went back to the exact same day and year, October 21st, 2015. And, and in that exact moment, Marty's family's reputation was saved, but not the way Dr. Brown had planned out. But anyhow, you know, they went back to the year 19, October 26th, 1985, only to find that it had been corrupted by none other than Biff Tannen. Then, so they went back to October, November 12th, 1955 to retrieve Gray's Sports Almanac and burn it in order to save their future. So, they as soon, as soon as after the almanac was retrieved and the real 1985 was restored, lightning struck the DeLorean, causing Dr. Brown to travel to back to September of 1885 in the Old West. So the DeLorean was then buried in a mine shaft, and then Marty and Dr. Brown's 1955 counterpart had to unbury it in a, in the mine. 
And as soon as they unburied the DeLorean, they found Dr. Brown's future time, Dr. Brown's tombstone, which said September 7th, 1885, and shot in the back by Buford Tannen over a matter of $80. So, they placed the DeLorean some new tires on, and Marty went back to September 2nd of 1885 to find Dr. Brown as a blacksmith in order to save him from being shot on September 7th, the Monday. So, as Marty arrived in the Old West of 1885, he inadvertently ripped the fuel line, and the DeLorean was buried in a bear's cave, and Marty escaped from the bear. Then, after getting the DeLorean to the move with horses, they couldn't get it up to 88 miles per hour. So, when the hole inside the DeLorean was patched up, they made a bit of fuel, which gasoline wasn't even invented in the Old West back then, but unfortunately, the DeLorean in had backfired. So they found an alternate solution, pushing it to 88 miles per hour by using locom a locomotive with a number 131, also known as Greyhound. And, and when the next train... So they loaded the DeLorean, removed the tires, and rail loaded the DeLorean onto the tracks. And on September 7th of 1885, they hijacked and borrowed Greyhound, the locomotive, number 131, and uncoupled her train cars from her tender, and used her to push the DeLorean up to 88 miles per hour back to the year 1985, when, and even used presto lo three presto logs, green, yellow, and red. And, and as soon as the red log exploded, noted, Greyhound's, Greyhound's smokestack exploded, causing her to accelerate rapidly up to 88 miles per hour. And after the, the DeLorean, Marty and the DeLorean went back to eight, 1985, Greyhound crashed through a barrier, plunged over a cliff edge, and and exploded into pieces when crashing into the ravine, and died. And when the DeLorean arrived in 1985, and as soon as Marty arrived in 1985, which was restored, the way he and Dr. Brown wanted, the DeLorean was destroyed by a freight train pulled by two Alco S6 diesel switcher locomotives. And it and it was then seen again, but a, but a replica in the Back to the Future cartoon, which takes place after the third film. And a year after the third film was released in 1990. And the cartoon was made in 1991. Even though whether or not if it was non-canon. And anyhow... During its diecast releases, it was released and labeled as Back to the Future Time Machine in 2011 and continuously being re-released ever since. And was re-released in 20, for 2022. And the reason why I like Back to the Future is because of Greyhound, the locomotive with a number 131, which is based off of Sierra 3, even though Sierra 3 was built in 1897 and Greyhound was built in 1868. So I presume that Sierra 3's builder, the Rogers Locomotive Works, inspired, were inspired by Greyhound's overall design, so, I mean, that they inspired them that it inspired the Rogers works to build Sierra number no. three itself in 1891. So, and, and the locomotive Greyhound number no. 131 
had gr even grown quite familiar to some Thomas fans on the internet. So now without any further ado, let's dig right into the review of the DeLorean Time Machine. So here we've got its headlights and front bumper, its black grille with the letters DMC on the front, no tampos on the hood, nor on the top. And on the side views, we've got a bit of wiring on the front fenders and the chrome silver gray rims on the black wall tires and its doors that open sideways on each side and a bit of black trimming on the side and the fusion reactor on top, I think, and the engine at the back. And we've got the we've got the the fusions and on the back we've got the the red tail lights and the black back bumper and the license plate saying out of time I think it says out of time I believe although it's very hard to see so on the undercarriage it says back to the future time machine hot wheels made in Malaysia 2021 Mattel and that is it so what do you guys think of the DeLorean time machine what is back to the is the back to the future trilogy your favorite or was it your favorite and what is your favorite part of the trilogy is it the DeLorean itself or the locomotive with the number 131 also known as Greyhound let me know what you think as well as let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And that reminds me, I'll be going on I'll be doing some Disney Cars customs. So I hope to see you guys next time for another video and I and on Friday, I will be reviewing the Team Trunk Fresh Racers. So, I'll see you guys on Friday. Goodbye now!